hello, hello, or ho, 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 as the case may be, because we're getting so dang close to Christmas. Anyway, all bad jokes aside, this is Ashley. I'm back with episode 61 of the Maverick Mompreneur podcast, and I am super excited to talk about something that I strongly believe in and to give you some research backed and also opinion, my own personal experience and opinion backed reasons for having a website for your personal brand. I know it can seem intimidating. I work with many clients who start out not having a website and I finagle my way in there and I convince them that they do need and will benefit from having a website for their brand. And so I'm going to give you six compelling reasons in this episode why you might want to consider it. And or if you have a website that's underutilized, maybe this will inspire you to maximize its usage in the new year. So without further ado, let's get into this quickie episode. Hey mama, I'm Ashley, and this is the Maverick Mompreneur podcast, where you're free and encouraged to own your desire to create and scale an impactful, discoverable online brand and business in the midst of motherhood, a business that's aligned with your mission, lifestyle desires, personality, and zone of genius without wasting your time on the hustle and grind hamster wheel that is social media. Can I get an amen? Sis, you are a maverick, an original, willing to stand out in your authenticity, defy expectations, and do life and business outside the box. In our world, if it's not aligned with who we are, it's a hard pass or a brave pivot. So if you're here for the powerful identity shift and transformation from boss babe or boss mom to aligned CEO, building a one of a kind, influential, hustle-free online business that will produce long-term impact and multiple streams of income through SEO, affiliate marketing, and courses while building yourself in the process, Well, pop in those AirPods, grab that cup of coffee or glass of wine, and let's get growing. One quick exciting announcement that has everything to do with this episode is that I made a huge decision in looking at all of my current offerings and price points and everything for the new year. Some of my courses and or coaching, I've increased the rates and then some I've decreased and I'm basing that on the basics that I need you to have and that I want you to have access to at the most accessible price point without giving away gold for free. So I have a course called Evergreen Your Brand and this course teaches you exactly how to simply and effectively set up a website that you can monetize and or spruce up the one that you have. Everything from the branding to SEO and so Normally that course has been $2.97. Now I'm offering Evergreen Your Brand for 27 bucks. I just basically want you to have it, but I want you to have some skin in the game because what I've noticed is if you give away something for free, we're more than likely as humans to not really pay attention to it. So I want you to at least have a little skin in the game. And if you're serious about creating a website and blog for your brand, the simple way, snag Evergreen Your Brand. You can hit the link below in the show notes or just go to elevatedwithashley.com forward slash course and you'll see it listed there. All right, all right, here we go. Six reasons why your brand would benefit from having a website. It's pretty cut to the chase. One thing I wanted to comment on is that it's raining here in California where I live. And for some reason, my closet sounds like I am just being flooded, like my home is being flooded. I don't know if you can hear that and I'm hoping not, but if it sounds as if someone's showering right next to me or some other water source happening, it's the rain. I don't know what else to do. This is the time that I'm recording. So I apologize in advance. The First reason that you should have a website for your brand is credibility. We've talked before on the podcast about building brand authority, and I believe I mentioned this then too, so this is a little bit of a crossover, but really first impressions are everything, especially if you're a fairly new, non-established online entrepreneur, you are going to stand out and give your prospective customers comfort that you're actually legit, that you are a legit business, you take this seriously, it really 
really does lend your brand some instant credibility if you have a website, especially if it's a functional, aesthetically pleasing website. So number one, simple credibility. And who doesn't want more credibility and brand authority, especially when you are new and relatively unknown. But speaking of being unknown, the second piece or reason that you should consider having a website or focusing on your website, if you do have one, is your discoverability as a brand. You need to be discoverable. I don't care if that's through TikTok or Reels or a podcast or your website or Pinterest, but you need to be discoverable. And to me, the long-term play is having at least one asset, if not more, that is discoverable off of social media. This lends to your brand presence security. You have that 24 seven online presence without you having to show up and create reels and posts and all of this social media content creation hamster wheel. And by establishing that discoverability and having the ability for your target audience to find you and clearly establishing on your website who you are, what you represent, what you stand for, what it is that you do, who you serve, and all of that is made clear on your website in one place, this highly increases the chances of your prospective customers buying from you. You're creating that trust by the credibility you establish with your website. And you're being discovered off of social media through the mechanism of search engine optimization, people finding you through strategic keywords that you're using to make sure that when they are searching for what it is that you provide, your content is served up by Google. That's the goal. The third reason that any personal brand would benefit from having a website is that it's something that can set you apart from your competitors. So regardless of what niche or industry you're in, there's probably a lot of other people doing what you're doing. And without a website, it can be really challenging to stand out and stand apart because people can't find a one-stop shop of quality, reliable information on you and your business. So if you think about it, when you want to know what it is that someone does, you could go to their Instagram, you could scroll through and scroll through and try to find what it is that they do, go to their link tree and look at all these different links and piece it together. Here's this offer and that offer and this product and that product. However, if they have a link in their bio that goes to their website, that's a one-stop browsing shop where you can see all of the things, this does one, two, and three, lends credibility. It creates the brand to be more discoverable by you on social media, but also by you if you were searching for what it is that they have to offer off social media and completely apart from it. And this is going to set them apart from all of their competitors. So I recommend that you do the same because not many people, and especially dependent on industry, have legitimate functional websites that are not only informative, lead capturing, but they're also monetized. The fourth point that I want to give to you for your consideration of why your personal brand would benefit from having a website is that you are going to have what's called evergreen content, nurturing your audience 24 seven with the exact type of relevant information to them that's going to build trust with you and your brand and also showcase your authority. But it's evergreen. You don't have to show up every day recreating and creating these, you know, 30 to 40 plus posts on social media that are not searchable for the most part. You can create solid long form articles or even short form that showcase your authority, build that trust and position you as an authority in your industry. And those can be discovered 24 seven on search engines, not on social media. Once you are online and you've got this SEO optimized website, you're going to have the chance of actually showing up in Google search results. Your reel is not going to show up in Google search results unless you have repurposed it to a platform like Pinterest or YouTube. So YouTube shorts or idea pins on Pinterest, because those you can also utilize SEO so that they can be discovered. But what I would recommend is that you do all of the above. Repurpose any social media content you create to any platform you have, including your own website, where you can plug in that SEO and you can double, triple, quadruple dip the SEO optimization for that content. And the fact that you have evergreen content up and running 24 seven gives you such a drastically increased opportunity to increase the base for your customers, your clients, 
your prospective team members, etc. The fifth reason that your personal brand should have a website is that if you have a personal brand, 99.9% chance you are or will be selling a product, whether that's a physical product, an affiliate product, your own offers, your own services, you have something that you're selling to monetize the personal brand you're building. Not many people build a personal brand with no revenue generator attached at all. And if they do start out that way, they realize that they can capitalize on creating impact and income through their brand. So number five is sales. So generating revenue somewhere off of social media. And this could be affiliate product sales. This could be your own offers through funnels on your website. But this is the way that you can sell your products in an evergreen manner. And you can also easily capture leads of those who have not bought or are not yet ready to buy that you can follow up with in an automated fashion. And so that's number five. So number one, we've got credibility. Number two, discoverability. Number three, standing out from your competitors. Number four, evergreen content to nurture your audience, which is a necessary part of building a brand. And number five, evergreen sales. And then last but not least, having a website honestly just makes things a lot simpler and saves you time. It saves you time in building an email list, in spreading your brand awareness through SEO versus paying for ads, although you could pay for ads and escalate things. When you have commonly asked questions and you have a website that you can refer to, it really cuts down on your need for those kind of customer service type DMs. Your website becomes basically a one-stop shop for all the things. And it's great to use, like I mentioned before, in your social media, one link that you get typically in Instagram at least as of right now, or for example, your call to action in a podcast. So you'll hear me say all the time, go to www.elevatedwithashley.com. And then I'll usually have a redirect forward slash, and then whatever page it is, or if it's for a particular offer that I've created in Kajabi, I do a redirect to that page. So you can find that information, but it's very easy to just use your one URL for your business and almost train your audience of where to go when they need information on something that you're offering specials, whatever it might be. If you have a Black Friday deal and they're not sure what it is, surely it's going to be up on your website and you're not having to rely on all of these different posts to communicate who you are, what it is that you do, what your brand stands for and the value that you have to offer. And you can create something once, put it on your website and it is evergreen forevermore. So there are more than six reasons that websites have become literally essential, in my opinion, to personal brands today. But I do strongly recommend that you create one if you have haven't done so already. And I know it can be intimidating, but the key to it all is just to get started, get one started. You can tweak it. You can improve it over time, but getting the bare bones framework together so that you can start collecting leads, creating or repurposing your content to a platform that you own. That's evergreen. That's off of social media. That is your start towards freeing up your time and creating a business that is the way that you want it to be for the long term and really creating that long term asset. So those are my reasons. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to them and that they were helpful if you've been on the fence about starting a website for your brand and or putting a focus on building that website that you already have. All right, Mavs, thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Until then, cheers to your impact. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. My goal is to help as many women in business online as possible to build strong, powerful, aligned, and profitable personal brands. The best way to show you appreciate this content is to screenshot and share on your social media or share with your team. Actually, even better would be to also leave a review for the podcast on whichever platform you're listening on. If you are looking for any additional support, you can always reach me via email at hello at elevatedwithashley.com. You can DM me on Instagram at Ashley R. Latimer or join us in the free Elevate Academy for brand building, maverick marketers, and mom entrepreneurs Facebook community. Can't wait to chat with you next week.